What's going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about meal prep and I'm going to be going over my experience with meal prep and what has helped me stay on top of it and why meal prepping is important for most people. So there's three things right off the bat that we can say about meal prepping is A, it saves time in the middle of the week. So if you take some time on the weekend to prep even just three or four meals ahead of time, you're going to have meals ready for when you're at work, on the go, or even if you just don't have time to cook when you're at home. And it reduces stress is the second thing of figuring out what you're going to have. So take some time on the weekend, not only just to prep it, but like figure out what you want to have and what you actually want to prep. Uh, because sometimes during the week when we don't have anything ready, believe it or not, it does cause a little bit of stress to figure out what you want to eat. Because sometimes with so many options, you want one thing, but you also want this one. And then the indecision causes you to um, just be so stressed out that sometimes we can make a bad choice or we end up having you know a little bit too much of both or something like that. But having meals ready to go leaves that decision making off the table. And the third thing obviously is that it prevents you from making bad choices. So if you have meals prepped and ready and they're with you, if you are out somewhere like at work or if you're on like a vacation as well, you have meals ready. If there comes a time where you're hungry or you're out somewhere and you feel like um, you would have to eat out otherwise if you didn't have the meals, that is going to help you greatly. Um, if you don't have meals ready, you're going to make a bad decision. You're going to be very impulsive with what you choose. Um, and those impulsive choices always lead to something bad or even if it's healthy and it's at a restaurant, we don't always know what's in it or what they cooked with. So we don't really know the exact calories. Um, a lot of the fast food chains now provide you with the calories, but even still, um, you know, if you're eating out at a pub, you really are never going to know what's in the food for calories and fat carbs and all that kind of thing. So it's just better to have your meals ready. So those impulsive choices don't ruin your diet. So with meal prepping, it comes down to planning. So we have to plan it out before we start actually prepping any food because you want to know what meals you actually need to prep. So is it breakfast you need to cook? Is it lunch? Is it your supper? Or is it just snacks that you need to have ready to go when you're at work? What is it specifically that you need to have ready? Another important thing to look at is do you have access to a microwave? So if your meals that you're preparing are meals that you normally would eat hot and you have to heat it up, if you don't have access to anything like that, it's not really going to work and it's not going to taste that great. Um, so if you don't have access to a microwave or somewhere where you can heat up your food, plan things that are cold that you can eat as it is, like wraps, sandwiches, salads you know, yogurt bowls, things like that, they're gonna be easy to just grab and eat without having to warm it up. Now we wanna talk about balance. So when you're building your meals and you're prepping your meals, you want it to be an actual meal. So does your plate have balance? I like to think about it as, you know, the plates we used to eat off of as a kid that has like the lines in the middle, has like the three or four sections. Um, think of it that way when you're prepping. So pick a protein, pick a carb, pick your fruit or veggie, and then build it from there and make multiple of them and put them in your containers that way. There's two different ways that we can actually prep. We can actually prep individual meals, so creating meal one, meal two, and in individual containers, or you can do what my favorite way is to do this, is prep in large bulk and then put the meals together as you go through your week. So what I mean by that is I like to prep a lot of my protein options ahead of time. So I'll cook a bunch of chicken and have all my chicken in one container or all my ground beef or ground turkey in one container. And that way during the week I can mix and match the food. So if I prepped a whole bunch of rice and I prepped a whole bunch of you know pasta noodles and I prepped chicken and prepped ground beef, I can mix and match those throughout the week. That's the benefit of doing that. If you, in, if you prep your meals individually, what I find is you end up remaking the same meal, say four or five times, and then after the fourth time you have it that week, you're, you're pretty tired of it. So instead of having you know chicken with your pasta, the next time you could have the ground beef with your pasta or vice versa. Like you wanna be able to mix it up. So that's why I always like to have all my foods you know, in large quantities in a container together. So that way when I'm going to eat or if I'm making my lunch before I go to work like I used to do, then I can actually take the chicken, you know, take the rice and put that in a container for the day. Um, it just, it's good to have a variety on a day-to-day -day basis rather than eat the same things over time. Because when you eat the same thing over time, you obviously, you get tired of it 
and it's going to make you not want to diet any, anymore. But if you have variety and you get sort of creative with what your options are each day, it's going to help you feel like, you know, you're a little bit more free and you're not so restrictive. One thing I recommend too with flavor is with the list of sauces that I have given you, so all of those low calorie options, have a few of those picked out and you can put them on your meals. Um, if you plan on eating the meals, you know, a few days later, I wouldn't necessarily put the sauce on right away. Obviously, I mean, it kind of makes sense. The sauce makes your food soggy. So have little containers on the side of the sauce that you choose. Now seasonings and spices, you can put that right on. But I find with sauces, have smaller containers off to the side and bring that with you. That way it doesn't make your meals so soggy and kind of gross. And along with this video, I'm going to give you two meal prep recipe ideas. Now, me personally, I'm not fancy at all. And I feel like maybe you guys know that by now. I'm very basic with my eating. Like, I'm not very conventional. I'm trying to actually get away from, you know, the typical what we consider breakfast items and supper items. You know, I think we just need to get away with that and look at it more as what does my body need right now? What am I lacking? You know, where can I get this food from and where can I, you know, expand my choices and variety so that my body's getting everything that it needs and, you know, not conforming to what society's telling me I have to eat. You know, I have to eat breakfast. I have to eat supper with these foods. When it comes to cooking fancy recipes, that's not my jive. I'm more of just like, well, I want chicken. Well, I now I know I need some carbs and I need some fat. So, and I don't even really care what it is. Um, and that's the, the beauty of it all. It's like, if you kind of get rid of that mindset, you feel a lot more free as to what you can have. So you're allowed to mix odd foods together. Don't feel like you can't because you can. And as soon as you drop that mentality, you are going to be able to feel more free and not so stressed out about what you're going to have and how you're going to flavor it and all that kind of thing. Keep it simple and the diet will be simple. So I'm gonna drop two recipes for you guys below if you do like some more intricate recipes and hopefully that'll help you guys out. So these are just my tips that I've learned over the years. I've kept things very, very basic. Just find different ways that you can express variety and freedom with the diet. That is going to let you feel a lot less stressed out about everything. So thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Hopefully this helped. Peace.